In this video, we are going to discuss about the maintenance of fire extinguishers. And this is one of the important questions that you often encounter asked by the surveyor in your MMD oral exam. So these maintenance terms for firefighting equipment and all those things because you know regular SOLAS regulation uh, SOLAS chapter 2 to regulation 14 requires that maintenance testing and inspection of fire protection system and appliances on board shall be carried out based on IMO guidelines. So IMO gives you the guideline and this is made mandatory as per SOLAS chapter 2 to regulation 14 okay which addresses the minimum recommended level so this is the these are the minimum standard recommended level that's why we are known as maintenance engineer maintenance officer on board okay inspection and maintenance plan required by SOLAS in IMO uh, Maritime Safety Committee uh, that circular 142 guideline recommend that certain maintenance procedure and inspection can be performed by competent crew member who have completed an advanced firefighting training course. So if you have completed the advanced fighter firefighting training course, so you are eligible for this firefighting. While other procedures should be performed by persons specifically trained in the maintenance of such system that is authorized representative of the manufacturer means after beyond a certain level those can only be done by authorized representative of the so who does that the third officer perhaps in conjunction with the second officer and sometime with the fourth engineer is usually designated fire safety officer okay and there therefore is the person responsible for checking and maintaining relevant firefighting and life-saving safety equipment now when we talk about the basic maintenance includes a requirement so what are the basic maintenance the examine the extinguisher body externally for corrosion or damage that could impair the safe function of the extinguisher carefully carefully check the plastic head cap of signs of UV degradation check the condition of the discharge hose and make sure that it meets the manufacturers specifications weigh the extinguisher to check that the weight corresponds with the manufacturer's specification and the recorded weight when first commissioned or last recharge. Now what all exactly we do in the maintenance that we are going to see now. So this you are supposed to tell you the surveyor. I just gave you the background until now okay, where it is there, where the requirement is placed about the maintenance. So what all maintenance that we do on portable extinguisher, the portable extinguisher are a type of pressure vessel, remember it because it is a pressurized, when you pull the plunger, it's a pressurized form of whatever the content inside whether it is CO2, DCP that comes out. So it must be routinely checked for leakages because any leakage will make your extinguisher not work properly at the time of emergency. That is more important here. Visually inspect the fire extinguisher for corrosion and damage. Check that the extinguisher has not been used by verifying safety pin and tamper seal are in place. Pressure gauge indicating needle in the green area. This is one of the important aspect to check. Check that operating instructions on the extinguisher are clear and legible matlab it is clearly visible uh, clearly written examine now remove the discharge hose and check for blockage and corrosion once the discharge hose has been removed replace the o-ring weigh the extinguisher and record on service level if there is more than 10 percent weight loss investigate and recharge wipe down the extinguisher you need to clean it the operating mechanism of the portable fire extinguisher should be regularly checked where possible every three months. The vent holes to be checked for clearance. All the cap threads should be lightly greased. There are holes provided in the screw on caps to release any excess pressure ensure these holes are clear. Sometimes this question is asked why there are holes that are provided. The plunger should be checked for free movement and any missing or damaged plunger should be replaced. Depending upon the type of fire on board ship, the flag state and the class requirement when it determines the number, type and location of this portable fire extinguisher as per SOLAS. The ship officer must ensure that all fighting including the fire extinguisher are always in the state of readiness. Any problem to or detect in the fire to be reported immediately to the master. 
check all the markings on portable fire extinguisher are uh, visible including the inspection dates the recharging of the extinguisher to be done as per the instructions supplied by the manufacturer only for dcp invert the extinguisher once in a while to ensure the powder inside it is agitated the powder has to be agitated because otherwise the caking will be there and it will form and there is a chemical that is added you can watch my video on dcp fire extinguisher fixed firefighting installation there i have explained all those things hydraulic test of all the extinguisher with propellant cartridges to be performed at an interval not more than 10 years so these are self explanatory that's why i'm not uh, just i i read it for you and my intention is not to teach you in fact my intention is to give you the expected answers at one place thank you so much